patches and showers early Friday, but improving to greater than six miles on Friday morning. Hi guys, good morning. It's currently 6 04 a.m. and I am dumb. My body is just annoying and I woke up like five times this entire night and I just couldn't go back to sleep so I I just ended up getting up. I don't have my first class until 9 45. Oh yeah I forgot I have to do crap. Today is my first day of sophomore year of college. I am doing my classes online. At first it was gonna be like a hybrid model where some students would go to class and then some students would just chill and like do it at their house but it ended up just getting switched up on us now all classes are just online so basically i'm stupid i didn't realize that i don't have any zoom classes until wednesday so i'm literally just getting ready for the heck of getting ready i just want to feel somewhat together because right now i feel like a mess I stayed up last night watching- oh wait, I forgot I have to be doing my makeup. I stayed up watching Gossip Girl, so that's why I was so confused why my body was being a little jerk. I don't understand why I can't just sleep properly. This is the Tarte Tape Shape Concealer or Shape Tape. Shape Tape Tape I'm so exhausted right now. Please excuse my mm, physique right now. <sighs> I'm so freaking tired. Today is August, I don't know, it's September already. Also, I'm doing the thing that people are doing on TikTok right now. Apparently, all the models do this crap. I don't know anything about makeup, so I kind of just put it anywhere I want. It ends up working somehow. <sighs> I was really looking forward to going back to school, but you know, things change. Oh shoot, what? <laughs> oh, why am I so tired, bruh? I look crazy. I feel like it's so weird because I literally feel like I'm still 14 years old. It doesn't even feel like I'm actually getting ready for college. It's so funny. Oh, I just wish that I didn't look like a child whenever I say like, yeah, I'm going to be a sophomore. People are like, oh, in high school. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm going to be a sophomore in college. I think it honestly just plays into the fact that I definitely have a baby face. I am blessed with jeans that make me look like I'm freaking five years old, but I'm not. I am 19 years old. I just keep growing up and it scares me. The concept of growing up frightens me. The fact that I'm literally going to be graduating from college in two years is insane to me. kind of just wanted to also explain the reason why I went back to school shopping. For one thing, school supplies makes me really freaking excited. I straight up hate, hate school. But I love back to school shopping. I, I just... Oh, um, yeah. I am going to be taking my backpack with me whenever I do stuff related to school. I'm the type of person that just can't concentrate and focus at home. It's really hard for me to be serious and get crap done. When I'm confined to these four white walls, I just can't. I need the surrounding of like other people working because that makes me, that like motivates me to want to work and motivates me to concentrate. That's why I love working at like coffee shops because I'm able to be surrounded by other people that are also working as hard as I am. I really just want to get good freaking grades this semester. Also, I hope I'm not the only one that does not clean my brushes. Um, this is really disgusting. So yeah, that is why I packed a school bag. I'm gonna be going to like local coffee shops, obviously following social distancing and just like any safety precautions I need to take because I don't want COVID again. COVID, crap, no. And I also don't want to put any other people at risk, nor do I want to put my family at risk. So don't worry, I definitely will be safe in all that I do when it comes to studying at, like at coffee shops or public places. It sucks that Starbucks is currently closed. That used to be my joint. I used to study there all the freaking time. That was my favorite place to go literally like my safe haven because i just went in there I, I felt like i was in a bubble i'm gonna get my ish done today and it's gonna feel really good and i'm gonna be sipping on my caramel macchiato i miss starbucks so much i'm a basic white girl what can i say so anyone is interested i'm gonna be taking intro to politics intro to literature intro to anatomy and phil philosophy philosophy psychology sociology sociology 
I don't know what it is. I really don't know. Honestly, I should probably look at that again. I, I don't know what I'm doing. And then also, I'm going to be taking an art class. I'm not looking forward at all to starting school again. I really want to enjoy my school year, and I kind of can't. I was really looking forward to, like, making friends and stuff like that. Actually, let me hold that back. I made a friend online, and I'm so freaking excited. She's so cute. She goes to the college I go to, and I'm hoping that we're going to be able to take a class together. My eye makeup looks really bad right now, but I can carry her for a minutes. I'm going to put some mascara on. I have to concentrate. I'm sorry. Oh, frick. I messed up. Are you guys going to be doing school in person or online? Because I'm genuinely curious. I feel like everyone is doing online right now. It's going to be so weird this year. You literally have to make your schedule for yourself if you want to succeed and be productive and successful with this college thing. I miss structure so much. Wait, I'm going to change this lighting situation. Give me a minute. I really just wanted to be able to have structure again, which is why I think I've missed school so much. I really hate the concept of school, but it feels good to have something to do. If I'm not in school, I'm doing nothing. Also, let me just say something really quickly because I feel like this needs to be said. I think a lot of people when it when the whole like quarantine COVID situation went down and everyone was literally forced to like lock up, there was like this whole like spiel of everyone wanted to be super productive and everyone wanted to kind of like use this rake as a way to like jumpstart their business and get in shape and all this crap. Quite Frankly, I started quarantine and I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna be working out every day. I'm gonna be starting to eat healthy. I'm gonna pick up a hobby. I'm gonna learn Japanese. Like, I'm gonna do all these things, right? And then none of that ended up happening. And now things are kind of coming back to reality where I have to start doing crap again. And I had all this free time and I wasted it. But that's the thing is like, I think people have to understand that we're literally in a pandemic. A lot of people, <laughs> including me, struggled a lot during that five months of hibernation we were deprived of like social interaction deprived of structure and a sense of comfort my mom was terrified of like letting me go out i live in arizona arizona is stupid we were literally at the epicenter of corona for a while be freaking safe guys i think often people just think that because it's calmed down people don't care as much about following those safety guidelines given by the health department please understand we're still on the pandemic please freaking wear your mask people just have to start taking things like this seriously because had people taken it seriously back in march we could have probably all been back in school actually because right now we're like back in school but we're still at home doing school online it's literally crap like it sucks i hate doing school online i miss having a professor and being able to talk to them and being able to interact with other students and i, I miss group discussions so much like freaking discussion posts are annoying i hate discussion posts they're so stupid they're supposed to be a discussion and people just comment because they have to like, i took all of my assignments seriously and i posted a really thought out 300 words right people would respond to them and i'm like oh cool thank you so much for wanting to have a discussion with me and i would ask them questions back and like try to strifle up this conversation and they would not respond so they kind of just like left me on red and that hurts <laughs> being left on red sucks i genuinely hope that this year it's a little bit different i am going to be doing community college which is interesting because i was at a university last year i don't know how different it's going to be this year i i just don't know like i i miss high school i genuinely miss high school so freaking much i was very much like an overachiever in high school i just wanted to get good grades and be a part of as much extracurriculars as i could possibly possibly handle and I didn't have a social life at all and now that I'm in college and I'm like I want a social life so badly it's kind of hard to because of COVID so please all high schoolers all middle schoolers hey even if you're in elementary school take time to cultivate those relationships and friendships make sure that you guys invest time in having friendships and relationships because you're gonna regret it if you don't I regret spending my nights studying yeah Please, please, guys. Also, I was using cloud paints, if anyone was wondering. I used the shade Dusk and the shade Puff. And now I'm using this to kind of accentuate my little contour that I try to do with the Dusk. I have a question for you guys. Since I've been talking so much, I want to give you guys an opportunity to speak. What do you guys think you miss the most about public school and actually being at school in person? Using the Boy Barrel from Glossier. Like, when I think about high school, 
I think I miss being hella stressed out. I miss stressing so freaking much about like an upcoming final and then taking the final and it being so freaking easy and being like, damn, like I stressed for nothing, dude. Like that was so stupid. Like I literally cried about this for five hours last night and I could have went to bed at a reasonable time, but I stayed up all night studying. That's what I miss because it kind of just is like a slap in the face type thing, but like a good slap in the face. You know what I mean? It reminds people that you don't have to stress and worry about something that ain't that real deep. <laughs> if anyone's going into being a freshman this year, I think my biggest piece of advice would be just like, please make time to prioritize family and friendships. Please join a club. Join something that makes you feel a part of something. I was in several extracurriculars. Was it stressful? Yes. Did I have a social life? Not really, but it was fun. And I think like if you need to force yourself to join these clubs in order to have fun, do it. Please, for the love of freaking God, be involved. Like, do something. Be a part of the change, you know? Be the change you want to see in the world. If you guys see something that you guys don't like at your school, freaking change it. Don't be afraid to use your voice because your voice is the most powerful tool that you have. Fight for justice. Fight for it, queens. You can do it. Another thing that I wanted to tell you guys, I'm using the heloscope um, in, in the shade quartz. If you are afraid to make friends, if you are afraid to not be popular or whatever, just know popularity literally means nothing. When I was in high school, I don't know why I cared so much about what like the popular kids thought of me. I look at it now and I'm like, they ain't nothing, man. Like they for the street bro like they for the freaking street find it in yourself to just understand that popularity means nothing if you have like a good two friends like you are gonna freaking make it i promise you guys you don't have to be scared you really don't high school is not as deep as people make it i was kind of like popular at school because i was so involved in stuff a lot of people like knew of me and i didn't really have any friends at all i had my best friend and had like my partner in crime now set. I don't know why this turned into like a freaking back to school tips and advice. I was not expecting this video to turn into that. I really wasn't. I just didn't have anything else to talk about. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Um, so I think I'm done with my makeup. I'm just gonna put some lip gloss on or actually I'm gonna put my lip gloss on after just cause I am gonna be doing my hair. I think I'm gonna curl my hair. Or actually, you know what? Frick it. I'm not gonna do my hair. I'm too lazy. Hold up. Let me find glasses on so I can finally see. All right, I'm gonna plug in my my straightener. I hope I'm not the only one that uses a straightener to curl my hair. Shoot, what the frick? Give me a minute. All right, my thing is finally heated up. Wait, what? It didn't even heat up. Bruh, what the frick? Did I break this? I waited like 10 minutes for it to heat up. <laughs> <laughs> I think I broke my straightener. Um, that's fun. So I guess I'm not gonna be curling my hair today. <laughs> um, yeah. I have a lot of flyaways and baby hairs, but I can care less. All right, I'm gonna change real quick. You guys wanna change with me? All right, so I think I'm just gonna wear this like flower shirt. It has flowers on it. That's fun. I'm just gonna wear these shorts because they're my favorite shorts. All right, so this is the OTTD. Sorry, I haven't made my bed. I have no plans to make my bed until it's 100% necessary. Quick outfit of the day. So I'm wearing this green top. It has like flower prints on it. I thrifted it and then I also thrift did these shorts. I'm wearing these earrings. And that's the outfit. My battery's flashing, so that means I got to go. Wish me luck. Um, adios, guys.